Well, hello everyone. Hey everyone. Hey there folks. Welcome back to a new episode of Talking with the Pure Peoples. Yup, it's time for a new episode. Or should I say, it's time for episode 16. 16, woo! 16. We made it to 16 episodes. This is 16 right here. Yup, that's right. Now before we get started with today's episode, why don't we share some updates? Well, it all started with my story. I was trying to ask Chet's dad if he could make a machine to bring my mother back. Um, Chet's dad, is there any way you could like make a machine to bring my mother back? Chet's dad? Mr. Chet's dad, sir? He went to sleep on me. Yep, that's right, folks. Lena wanted a machine, but Chet's, I mean, my dad went to sleep on her. Yeah, it's like he didn't hear me. Did you try shaking him to wake him up? I didn't want to. I didn't want to wake him. What if he would have got mad at me? Oh come on! You know my dad needs to start waking up on a special time, especially when he realizes he needs to get to work. I gotta get to work. Wait, Chet's dad! I need to tell you something. Uh, bye, kids. I gotta go. But Mr. Chet's dad. Well, he's off. Well, you'll catch him next time. You're right. Uh, it's never gonna work. You'll see your mother. I promise. All right, let's read some comments, shall we? Weibo no no. Are you here, fans? Why, yes, we are fans here. Yes, we're fans of a lot of stuff. Like, we're fans of the Pure People show, and we're fans of the other Pure People's movie. We are fans, all right. Yes, we are. You got that way, Weibo. Yup. The next one is from Sherry Pope. I can't wait until April. I can't wait till April, too. Yeah, me, too, because that's when spring is coming. Yep, that's when spring is coming, and I get to go outside and sniff flowers and enjoy the rain. Oh, and April also means Easter. Easter, yes, Easter is in April. Yeah, I can't wait to have an Easter egg hunt and wear bunny ears and have chocolate eggs. Yeah, and watch um, Easter movies. Are there any Easter movies out there? Well, only a few of them. Hmm, I don't think people don't really make that much Easter movies. Well, not that I know of. What about you guys? Do you guys know any Easter movies out there? Yeah, because I don't think I know any Easter movies out there. Hmm, probably because Easter's not really that kind of, you know, holiday to get a movie, as well as Thanksgiving movies not that much. Huh. But otherwise, I'm still ready for April. How about you guys? What month are you ready for? I think we're ready for April and February. Oh, and the summer, which is in June. Exactly, we're excited for those years coming. The next one is from Polly and Adelie. Are you excited for Lutz, a j Turt movie? We did hear about this new j Turt movie called Lutz. We are absolutely excited. Yeah, I can't wait to check this out. It looks cool. It looks like a new classic that j Turt would make. That's because it is made from j Turt alias. I know that, Chet, but I'm saying it's going to be a good movie. Don't you guys think? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it's going to be about a boy. Right, it's about a boy who gets forced by some two friends, and he gets kidnapped by them, and he's forced to go with them on a big adventure. Oh, it's going to be an adventure movie. It sure is. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Are you guys seeing the new Luke's j Turt movie or any other j Turt movie this year? Let us know in the comments below. Dwayne Fruit It. What is your opinion on Cuppy Merck's cereal? I love Cuppy Merck's. I love Cuppy Merck's too. Yeah, I love Cuppy Merck's. If there's one marshmallowy cereal that you can think of, it's Cuppy Merck's. Exactly, because it's cereal with all those marshmallows. Yeah, that come in red, yellow, and blue, and orange. Like, mmm, I would just love me some Cuppy Merck's. Yeah, especially when you put all marshmallows in the bowl, and you know, it's like you're just eating cereal with marshmallows, right? Just all marshmallows, no brown stuff, but just the marshmallows. Yeah, because some cereal usually have the sweet stuff and the brown stuff, right? Like, um, usually cereal has that brown stuff and that colorful stuff. Yeah, I think that's the grain wheat of the cereal. I think so too, but I usually don't eat that. I usually go for the marshmallows. Yeah, I usually go for the marshmallows, especially when you pour milk in it. It's like, mmm. Milk with marshmallows and cereal. That's the best part. Oh, I love Cuppy Mercs. I actually had some for breakfast today. Oh, I didn't have no Cuppy Mercs. I actually had some last week, and then I had just pancakes today. You had pancakes? Oh, I had Cuppy Mercs. You did, Alias? Yeah, I had to say that before it was, it was my turn was over. Yep, I had Cuppy Mercs today. Were they good? Come on, guys. You know Cuppy Mercs is good. You can't deny all Cuppy Mercs being the worst cereal by Mercables ever. Exactly. Ah, uh, Cuppy Mercs. 
I give Cuppy Mercs a 10 out of 10, right, for being the sweetest marshmallow cereal ever. Yeah, yeah. Ruffle Slink, favorite character from Bader Bear. Hey, I remember Bader. I remember Bader too. That bear who always says, this is Barrier. Yeah, that Bader. Man, 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 Bader, he was my boy. Oh, you, you, you know Bader alias? I do, guys. I used to watch all the Bader series. Man, the Bader series, that was like my childhood. And they had a book about it. I actually read the book, and then I saw the TV show, and then I saw the movie. Man, the book was one of my favorite books growing up. Exactly. I just love the fact that he's always doing push-ups and eating fish. Right, and always messing with Mellow the polar bear. Oh, man. Mellow is my favorite. You love Mellow? I love Mellow, that cute polar bear. I agree. I think Mellow's the funniest. But Bader, everyone always votes for the main characters to be the best. So I'm going to vote Bader. Yeah, I think Bader is cool because he's funny. I like how he's always eating fish. Him and his brown skin. Yup, I grew up on Bader. So did I. Oh, you did? Yeah. I saw the TV show and I saw the book, but I never saw the movie yet. Oh, yeah, Bader did have a movie. The Bader movie? Yeah. Like I said, I did see it. I seen it too. And it was pretty funny. Yeah. And I think they're making another one. Oh, yeah, I saw the trailer. Hey, guys, how many of you out there seen the new Bader trailer? I think Bader's getting a new movie. Right, after his first movie came out, they're making another one. And I think it's about him going fishing. Yup, Bader, the fishing trip. Yup, that's what it's called. I didn't know they were making a part two. I thought there was only going to be one Bader movie. Well, you know, when movies are a big success, they got to get another one. Because audiences want more of the good characters. I mean, you see how many franchises we've been getting from all these, all these, all these, all these other movies, right? Yep, it's just all these movies are getting so many movies. Well, you know, they're making a lot of money. And filmmakers want to keep making that money from those characters because, you know, they're life-changing. Exactly. Russell Clawbo, do you have any mini-movies? Yes, that's right. We do have some mini-movies, but they're still in production. Yep, just like our episodes are already in production right now from our DVD release date. We have some mini-movies coming on the way. Yep, and they're just going to be little short films from the pure peoples. Yeah, I think all Tiver Studios should get mini-movies. Right, because, you know, some have theatrical releases, and we have to release them before the movie. Exactly. But yes, folks, we do have mini-movies that are in production right now, so keep your eyes out for them. Garman Village. Favorite song from Cups. What is my favorite song from the Cups movie? Abu Maman, Abu Maman. Hey, it's the way that we all go. I love that song, Abu Maman. Yes, my favorite song from Cups is Abu Maman. I also love Take It or Eva. Oh, yeah, that one was good too. And what about the villain song? I got the perfect plan is on me. Right, you know, villains be making good songs too. I know Chocolate Milk was the villain of the movie, but he also sung a good song, Perfect Plan, and it was so catching. Right, come on, you just gotta sing a villain song. It may be sung by a villain, but it's still catchy. Exactly. Villains have catchy songs too, that you just wanna sing along with them. I know, they may be bad villains, but come on, you, 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 can't, you can't hate on their songs. Yes, you must have to sing them. Exactly. What is your favorite song from the movie Cubs, guys? Because we love Abu Man Man, Take It Riva, and Perfect Plan. Yep, those are the top main songs from Cubs. I hope one of those songs win. Oh, they have to win because that movie was perfecto. It was. Mel Canty, are one of you guys artists? Are we artists? I am a pretty good artist. I can draw pretty well. Oh, can you now? Uh-huh. I can draw pretty good stuff. What kind of stuff can you draw, Chad? Well, let's see here. I can draw plenty of good stuff, like I can draw flowers, I can draw um, cities with buildings, I can draw trees, I can draw some characters, I'm pretty good at artisting. Well, by artist, I thought you meant like, you know, like a, a favorite song artist, oh, like making a song, yeah, I tried to be an artist too, I tried to make my very own songs, how'd it come out? Not very well because I'm not really a good singer. Oh, come on, Alias. I know you can sing a little bit of songs. Yeah, only a little bit, guys, but not that much. Well, I'm pretty sure you just keep practicing. You'll become better at it. Exactly. But we are pretty good artists, guys. What about you, Lena? Are you a good artist? I try to become a good artist by by painting. Oh, painting is your thing. Yep, I like using painting. And by also artisting, I like using glitter and, you know, little clay to design some stuff. I'm a pretty good artist myself. Well, maybe one day you gotta show us some of your artwork. I will. You just gotta remind me because I might be still working on it a little bit. Well, just let us know when you're finished. Bros and Joykin, do you guys eat bugs as meat? Ugh. Um, have we ever ate bugs? Um, I don't eat bugs because I think eating a bug will make you sick. 
it'll make you barf. Mm, I never ate a bug. I wonder if pure peoples can survive off eating bugs. Oh, I ate a bug once before. You did? Yes. Did it make you sick? Actually, it didn't because it was a small little ant. Ugh. Yup, and it was so good. I didn't even know what it tastes like. So bugs don't have no taste? Well, in animals' eyesight, bugs have a whole bunch of tastes like meat from chicken. You take a small piece of bug, put it in your mouth, and then chew it like onion. And the flavors just spread around until they realize what the taste has to be. Ugh. Ugh. I can't believe you actually ate a bug, Alias. Oh, come on, guys. If animals eat bugs, I wanted to see if I can give my own self a try with bugs because I want to see what bugs taste like. Bugs don't even have a taste because they're living things. Oh, well, we be eating other living things like we be eating animals and all that. So what's wrong with eating a living little, you know, insect? Well, I mean, uh, right. There shouldn't be a problem. It's literally the same thing. <laughs> but yes, guys. Sometimes we do eat bugs, but not all the time, right? Not all the time, just only sometimes. Man, that bug was so good. I, You know what? I'm actually thinking about eating another one again. Uh, no! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, everybody, that was all the comments. Yep, that was all the comments we've found so far. Remember, feel free to leave more comments for this video for the episode next time. Yep, just leave some more comments so we can read them next time. Well, everybody, we had so much fun with you guys today. We always enjoy seeing you guys every week. Yep, every week there's always going to be a new episode, and we enjoyed this week. So we'll see you guys later. See you guys. See you guys. We'll see you in episode 17. Yep, episode 17. We'll see you guys. You guys be safe out there and take care of yourselves. And we'll see you guys later. See you guys later. Bye, folks. Doo -doo.